Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the crop tool in CS6, which is a little bit different than how it works in CS5.5. So, anyway, we're going to go down to the crop tool, which is the fifth tool down, and we'll click on it. So, when it comes up, there are a couple things you need to know about. Some really interesting and useful things, actually. Number one is this viewport. I really love the way this works. If you click on this and start to work, okay, I just tapped. I got these rule of thirds grid, okay, so you can try and create a um, sense of interest, okay, in these areas. Now, you can also switch to other groups, like you can go to uh, grid, you can go to, that, that. the grid honestly is the best for um, uh, straightening out things. You can go to diagonal, you can go to triangle, you can go to the golden ratio, and you can go to the golden spiral. Uh, the golden spiral is great because it, you know, it just ties you right in. You see it a lot in nature and it's a great idea to use it. I'm going to go back to the rule of thirds and uh, let's see what else we can do with this. We have the ability to change the way the crop works. Now you know when you crop you are cutting out parts so you can just move this down in and unlike previous versions you see that the picture is shown. It kind of gets darker and then in the viewport area you can see where you don't move it it moves the picture behind it so it's it's really a good way of seeing how big the image is. I'm gonna pull this back to where it was. Now the other thing you can do is you can change the mode it's in. You can actually have it crop to a particular size. Right now I'm on unconstrained. You can tell it to do original ratio meaning it'll still be the same uh, size. So if you had a really wide picture you would still crop to a really wide picture. You can uh, tell it to go to square. You see it automatically adjusts to where it's a one to one ratio. And you can put in any ratio you want. You can go to four by five, which if you think about it, is also an eight by 10. So if you wanted to have this printed, you could crop it exactly how you wanted rather than using the crop uh, system in some online printing like Walmart or something like that. I'm gonna take this down and take this up. And I like the way that looks. Okay. Now, you can also put in your own numbers. You can adjust the size and resolution down here. So I go to size and resolution. I'm going to say I want this to be 10 inches by 8 inches. And a good print resolution is always going to be 300 pixels per inch. So regardless of whatever it was, what it's going to do is it's going to make it become a 10 by 8 at 300 pixels per inch. You can even save this as a crop preset so it's ready to go. I really like having the 10 by 8 ready to go at any moment. So I'm going to click OK. Now here it's going to say 8 inches uh, wide by 10 inches in height at 300 pixels per inch. Uh, let's see. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, see. Now you can also uh, use the you know 8 by 10. You can also change the way it um, works. You can just switch it right here if you want and do 8 by 10. You see that would do it as well. So anyway, my goal for you in this picture is to turn, adjust, rotate, whatever you need to do to crop your image. I also want you to make sure that delete crop pixels is off. If you check it, it means that it'll delete all this stuff from the file. However, a non-destructive way would be to keep it off so that when you click the check box or hit enter, it will create a um, an image that has a layer. So let me bring up my layers panel. Go to window layers. You'll see now I have a layer and inside that layer is my image. If I were to move it over, see there's still stuff there. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to get you to crop this in some way that you like using the new crop tool in CS6.